Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 20 of the Delico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's forum 662, maximum width of a binary tree. So, given a word, we turn the maximum width is the width of the maximum width amongst all level. A width of one level is determined as the length between the end nodes, the leftmost, where the no nodes would be presented. Okay, that, that's what I was looking for to see whether empty nodes count or something like this. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the key thing is just to count the empty notes and in a way, and then just, you know, do the max over all of them, right? So, um, yeah, so let's say we have a, a regular traversal, right? And here we're going to do, it doesn't really matter if it's in order, you know, left, left node, right, or pre-order left right node because you know they don't really impact each other but so uh yeah but uh yeah let's say you know if node is none then this is very basic return and then otherwise what i want to do and there may be a couple of ways you can do this here um you could do this with hmm, i usually do these kind of traversals in depth of search because the recursive the recursion is very I don't know, whatever, but maybe we could have just done it with breath first search. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do it with depth first search just because, you know. Uh, but yeah, oh, and then maybe this is like some node number or something like this, right? And then basically the idea is that, you know, when you traverse node dot left, we do nums times two. Uh, is it, so, is there, yeah, there are two notations and I always confuse of them, uh, and this is something that, you know, definitely be practicing, which is the x times 2, or, and then you have 2 times x plus 1, or you could do 2 times x plus 1 and 2 times x plus 2, but of course, that, um, and it doesn't really matter which pair you pick, but it depends. But then it changes the first uh, ID, if you will, of the first number, which is going to be zero or one. So yeah, so here I just say the first node is one. So then, also oh, it's zero. Sorry. So then we need the, uh, the, 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 the right, and then that's pretty much it. So then now, uh, oh, and maybe I could add depth. I think that's what I meant to do, but I forgot. Right. Uh, yeah. So then now we. Traverse root depth of zero and zero is the starting number, right? And then maybe we just keep track of for each depth the biggest or the smallest, I suppose, uh, the smallest number, right? Yeah, I mean, and in this case, it'll be the first number that's hit. So, yeah, so you have smallest is equal to some set, right? So, yeah. Um, because we do left before we do right, then that means that the first time if depth is uh, not in smallest, then smallest of depth is you go to num, something like that, right? And then at the way end, uh, or at the beginning, really doesn't matter, but uh, best is you go to max of best uh, num minus smallest of depth, right? You can actually put this here, really. And of course, I didn't do it yet, but we want non-local best, and best is equal to zero. Oops. And then we return best at the very end, and this should be good. Or maybe off by one, depending on how you do it. Um, oh, I guess, I mean, uh, yeah, this is because it's not inclusive, so we just need to plus one for the inclusion, right? Like, if you have zero, this is zero, and this is zero, you still have one node, but it would show up as zero node for obvious reason. Let's give it some med. Hopefully, I don't have an edge case. And there we go. Uh, this is going to be linear time, uh, linear space due to the either linear space or depth of the uh, height of the tree space or of H space. So, yeah. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.